Hello everybody and welcome to the episode one of the Abuja City Travel Guide. Finally, we are doing this for all of you who have requested to get a city guide. This is what we are doing in the series. So we are doing this video because we want to provide you a structured guide if you intend to come into Abuja anytime in the nearest future. So feel free to watch this video, share this video to anyone that you think is coming to the city because it's going to definitely help them. So these videos are going to be very short so I implore you to watch it to the end. However, if you prefer, you can check the description below. There is also a timestamp there where you can actually click and go to any of the portion of the videos that you want to watch. Alright, so in this episode, we'll be covering 10 different areas. I believe this video will be very helpful to anyone that is coming to Abuja for the first time and want to enjoy the city. So please do share this video to your contacts so that more people can also get to see this video. Alright, so let's get into today's video. Abuja officially became the capital of Nigeria in 1991, but before then, Lagos State was the capital. But due to conjecture and Lagos State serving the dual purpose of being a state and a capital of Nigeria, plus other consideration, the capital was moved to Abuja. So Abuja was essentially planned to be built in phases following the city master plan, phase 1 to phase 5. But right now, only phase 1 has been fully completed, Why phase 2 to phase 5 is still work in progress. So the city was initially planned to accommodate 3.2 million people but right now there are over 6 million people in the city center in Abuja center alone because of the rapid migration of people into the city. In fact, it is said that Abuja is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Abuja is very chill, cool and calm. There are no lots of hustle and bustle in the city, since it's an administrative city and not a business metropolis. Nigeria generally have two main seasons, the raining and the dry season. The raining season runs from the ending of March to October, while the dry season runs from October to April. However, you tend to get more raining season in the southern part of the country than in the northern part which Abuja actually falls into. Also during the December period and early January, you also have this hammertime season which is usually more windy, dry and dusty. Nigeria has embassy and consulate in many countries of the world, so you can easily visit and obtain a business visa. Alternatively, you can also apply online and get a visa on arrival. Alright, so this video will not be covering a whole lot about obtaining visa to come into Nigeria. However, if you intend to come into Nigeria, actually just two major requirements. The first is an invitation letter to come and the other one is proof of sufficient fund you know, to come into the country. Now, if you're actually obtaining a business visa or a tourist visa, you actually do not need the invitation letter. All you just need to really show is a proof of sufficient fund and you can actually obtain the visa and come in. And like I've already said, you can actually obtain your visa from any of the Nigerian embassies or consulates in your country or basically you can apply to get a visa on arrival. Now, there are other types of visas you can get including uh, temporary work permit, resident permit and all of that. So if you need more help regarding that, we can actually do a separate video on that covering a whole lot about visa issues and all of that. But that would depend on if a lot more people you know, want to watch that video. So we can actually do a video on that. Alternatively, if you need help in terms of obtaining visa, permanent uh, residency and all of that, work permit in Nigeria, you can actually shoot me an email and then we can talk about it. So all things being equal, let me assume you've gotten your visa and also you've booked your flight. Alright, so the next thing will be for me to go to the airport to go and receive you. Alright, so let me head to the airport and receive you right now. Alright guys, so welcome to Ndamdi Azikiwe International Airport. This is where we are right now. 
and when you arrive about this is where you're going to come out from when you arrive so you can also check out this portrait at my back when you come into this place you arrive and you've taken picture and you've looked at this the next thing for you to do will be to start going down you can actually go down straight down way or you can pick your right hand side okay so for me i'm just going to take my right hand side and go down so we are out of the airport so this is the the outside so once you come outside this is how the whole place look like get out of the airport so there are two important things you need to do the first will be for you to change your money because you need some money local currency to move around and the second will be for you to get a taxi to your location so let's talk about the currency now you can actually change your money here at the airport if you want to once you're coming out you find a lot of places where they change money you can actually change your money so if you change your money at the airport you're actually going to be short changed because the rate of change in here is quite lower than what to change in the town so i would actually recommend that you change just a little bit maybe you can change twenty dollar fifty dollar just to help you move around you know once uh you get to the town to your hotel you can actually change your dollars to the local currency and i'm going to be showing you guys how to change your money so most of these people you see around here are people that actually run taxi services so you can actually hop into any of them and then they can take you to your destination in town but i recommend using cash sharing services so there are various cash sharing services that we use in nigeria uh, one of them is boats if you have boats in your phone you can actually just order for the ride right away and then the boat will come pick you up so i will recommend that you download the boat app on your phone because you'll be using it a lot to move around the town and that's the easiest and the cheapest way to move around the town now one of the other reasons why i recommend using boat is because you know with boat you can easily track the driver if something goes wrong or maybe you forgot your luggage or anything goes wrong you can easily track the driver and get your luggage back but if you pick any of those types of drivers here except you collect the person's number there's no way to really track the person so that's one of the reasons why i recommend both beside that again using both is quite a little bit cheaper than if you use any of these taxi because it's a standard price but if you're using normal taxi and you're coming into town for the first time you have to price and bargain and because you do not know exactly how much it is you might end up being cheated all right so those are the two most important things you need to know i think the third thing probably you have to do after you get your hotel will be to get uh, a sim card to move around that we're going to talk about shortly but for now we're going to move out of the airport and head to town all right let's go Right now, I am currently in Banes in Wusetu. This is one of the busiest uh, business districts that you have in Abuja, Nigeria. And this is where you normally get things like phones and the rest of them. And you can also easily get a SIM card here, you know, so that you can use while you are in Abuja, Nigeria. But the only challenge with getting a SIM card is that for you to get a SIM card in Nigeria, you need to actually have a national uh, ID number so and that national id number enables you to register and get a sim card okay they say sim how much you have a nine anyway sorry sim is how much oh, oh, oh sorry sorry so let me understand so if i want to buy sim if i don't have nim yeah you have to have nim okay currently i'm in banners plaza and in this banners plaza you can actually register your name right here in one of the plazas let me just show you guys here you have plaza here you can actually come and register your your name all right and so once you register the name you can now use the name and go and get uh, a sim card which you can now register for a thousand naira. all right so i'm just going to go up to where they are doing the name registration inside this Plaza and then I'll find out 
how long does it take to do this name registration for you guys so that if you just come to Barnes Plaza in in Wuse 2 you can just register the name then right there you can just get a SIM card for a thousand there all right so let me just ask them how long that takes please can I register name and get it right now because I want to buy a SIM not possible. So what's possible? One week. You, 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 you cannot do two days. You, if you do it today, mm -hmm. you get it uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Get it Tuesday. That's the least you can do. How much is it? It's four thousand. Registration four thousand. I thought name registration is free. That's what they said. What they said where? They said where? Yeah. The government. The government. Government says free. <laughs> but you plan to collect your money. Why are you collecting money? Because they're making it easier or what? Yeah, but why is it taking one week? Is it not something that... It's not one week. Okay, your own is... Just, uh, if not because of... To make it work, I would say that you collect it Monday or today. Say. Okay, so why can't I collect it today? But if I give you, if the NI is not working, you quarrel with me. Okay, so, so you have to go and check that the NI no, is let working. Me be, let me do it and the, when you've collected the NI, I want to use it to register SIM quickly. Uh, you know, it's not possible. The airline must be, must be validated. Oh, first. First. That's why it's delayed. Taking. Okay, so if I do now, I can come back Tuesday. Yeah. All right, so the thing is, NIM registration in Nigeria, that is the national identification number, is free. But those guys here can actually help you to register, make it easy. So if you go into NIM offices to register, so you can actually register with them and they are charging <coughs> 4,000 naira to do that but the thing is it's not instant so if you register like today to take like another three four days or one week maximum for you to get that uh, NIM number and so when you get the NIM number then you can now use it to get a registered use it to register a sim and to get a sim card so that's actually how you can get a sim card another way is like I said you can get a frame if a friend of yours can help you register, put their details and then register the SIM for you, then you can use the SIM. Probably that's another way that you can actually get a SIM. Alright, so that being said, those are the two ways you can actually get a SIM to use in Nigeria. Alright, but I must also tell you that sometimes you can actually get a SIM card that have already been registered and you can use that. But, you know, it's very risky because you're actually getting a SIM card that have the details of someone else. So just in case something happens and then they track the phone, track the line and get to you, I mean, you'll be in problem. So sometimes those network uh, telecommunications that sell SIM card that have already been pre-registered, you know, that is still happening actually. So you might actually get that, but I mean, it will be too risky for you because it's not your details that are there. So I just have to put that there in this video. So just in case somebody, you know, offer you that option and say, ah, I can get you a SIM card and then they get you a SIM card. Whose details is on the SIM card? So you don't know. So if something goes wrong, you can be tracked and you'll be in problem. So what I would really advise is, if you're staying for a long time, a long period in Nigeria, in Abuja, Nigeria, then you can register the name and then get a SIM card. If you're not staying for a very long time, say for a very short period of time, if you have a friend that you trust, then they can register a SIM card you know, with their own name on your behalf and then give you the SIM so you can use it while you're in Nigeria. So that you can actually trust a person that have the details on that. All right. So that being said, all right, at this point, have you subscribed to the channel, right? Have you subscribed to the channel already? If you haven't, please try and subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. And now we're going to move down to the hotel. Yeah? If you snap, I will kill. If I snap, how much? 500. I bet on the other side. On the other side, Jerry. Okay. Which guy 500? <laughs> For this Nigeria. <laughs> it's a final. You know. yeah. yeah. Alright, guys. So you can actually buy this. This is fine designs that we have in Nigeria. If you like to try out some Nigeria tires, you can actually get this and then try out. So I don't know how many of you would like to try out. In Nigeria tire when you come to Abuja. Alright, so I just saw this, I sell it on the road. So if you want to try a different fashion, you can actually buy this and then try it out. Alright, okay, hold on. Hold this one. I'm not gonna pay you money. Oh. I buy I'm not gonna buy, I just to give you. Alright, so we are currently in Central Business District and we'll talk about accommodation. So now when you come into Abuja, there are a lot of hotels in Abuja that you can get wonderful and suitable accommodation for you depending on the budget that you have 
but in this video I just want to talk about that there are two main uh, hotels that people mostly prefer to stay when they come into Abuja. Uh, one of them is Fraser Suit, which is where I'm standing right now at my back is the Fraser Suit and the other one is the Hilton. So we're just going to go and check out these two hotels just briefly so you can see how the inside looks like. You can also check out their website to actually get more details. But I'm just going to show you guys how the inside looks like. All right, let's go check it out. So honestly, this Fraser suit is really beautiful. It's a really beautiful place that you can actually lodge if you come to Abuja, Nigeria. So we have uh, sitting areas. This is one of the sitting areas in Fraser suit where you can actually sit down in the evening and just just with your guests. This is your big boy still. <laughs> when you come to Abuja, <laughs> eh? When you come to Abuja, this is where the big boy stay. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> So you know, that's the big boy there. That's see where he's staying. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fraser, Fraser suits. This is nice. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, I wish I'm the one staying here. Let me come and do documentary. Uh, hmm? Guys, yeah. let me show you. So welcome to my room, man. Welcome to Fraser suit room. This is how Fraser suit looks like. So I'm borrowing this room oh, from King Raoul. <laughs> King Raoul at my back. <laughs> All the way from Cameroon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, man. Yeah, well, you can see how this room looks like, man. It's quite nice. Quite nice. Yeah, I mean, the main, the main. Even the other one. So these are the list room? This is the list room so far. Okay. So the other one has just one bed at the center. One bed at the center? Yes, but the bed is bigger than this. Okay, well these are just twin beds. Mm -hmm. These are just twin beds. Ah, uh, I see. Can I see the outside, how it looks like? The view? The view, yes. What kind of view do I... Do I get... This is the pool view. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. You can stand here and sight people at the pool. Okay, this pool, is it open to just when you're lodged, right? Yes, and if you're not lodged here, you can come and swim, but you have to be. So once you arrive zone 4, you find that there are a lot of people that are actually changing money on the road and they will try to call you to come and change money with them. So I always advise that you don't change money on the road. Try to get into the plaza. And when you get into the plaza, you can check out any of the people that are changing money and trying to change your money there. The reason why I say that is because if anything goes wrong, you can always trace the people back to their shops and, you know, and rectify the issues. All right, so this is where you can change your money. It's called Zone 4 in Buse. And I can already advise you guys, if you come into Abuja at the airport, don't try to change your money there because they will shall change you. Just change a little bit and then when you settle down in your hotel, you can come to Zone 4 and change your money. Also, if you don't have time to come to Zone 4, you can actually get any of their contacts and just call them and they will come over to your hotel and actually change the money for you. That also you can get that services. All right, so let me just show you one of the places we are normally change your money and just speak with the guy a little bit. How much is the change now? No, don't worry, don't worry. How much is the change now? 575. Let me 575. What's it? Don't tell me 578 outside. 
Now, 575 you are last. You know, what I normally do is I check more than one place to confirm the prices before I decide to change my money. So I just confirm one place. So what I will do is check out the second place as well. Baba, how far now? Fine, Goga. How today? Yeah, how it is? Long time no see. Well, how it is? I see, forget your boy, ba. Ah, man. Eh? Forget your boy. Okay. No, no boy. How about you, they change? How are you, they change now? We get them. Eh? 576. 576? Yeah. Now the last Friday, that. Well, no, yes. If you send your person to come hotel or or come Which hotel are you? Fraser suit. Yes, if you send back, yes, okay, I will call you. Where are your card? Give me your card. Yes, All right. Right now, I want to take you guys to where you can do your PCR tests once you come into Abuja, Nigeria. Tama Gardens. This is where we are right now and this is where you can do a PCR test. If you come into Nigeria, you actually required to do a PCR test showing a negative COVID-19 result. And you're supposed to do that within 48 hours before you fly into the country. And once you come into the country, you're actually expected to do another test you know, within uh, 48 hours while you are in, uh, in the country. And where I'm taking you guys now is one of the places where you can actually do your COVID-19 test, uh, the PCR test. This place is called Metama Gardens, it's just in Metama here, and that's where you can actually run the test. And one of the popular places people always use is called 54 Jeans, and this is where they are. Alright, so I'm just going to take you guys to see how the place looks like, and I can actually also ask them how much it costs and how you can actually pay when you come. Alright, let's go. Hey, who don't carry marks the entire so? Where? Why can't I go in, bro? You walk. Are you working in Fifty Virgins? Yes, sir. I want to make inquiries. Oh, okay. Abuja does not currently have a structured public box system. To move around the city, you have to jump into various car, buses, and even tricycle that are run by individuals. By the way, a tricycle does not run in the city center, however, it runs in the outskirts. So it depends on where you are, then you can actually jump into a tricycle. Except you know the city very well, your best bet will be to move around using the boat services. It works very well and is very affordable. Also, try and get Google Maps because with it, you can literally visit any part of the city and discover places and things to do stress-free. Speaking of things to do, I recommend that you watch this video here. It's a very interesting one. You really like it. It provides you some of the best activities that you can do while you're in Abuja, Nigeria. Alright guys, that's all I have for you in this episode 1 of the Abuja Travel Guide series. In the episode 2, we'll be covering even more things as well. So what are your thoughts, what are your comments, and what are the questions that you have? You can drop them in the comment section below. As well as if you have other things you'd like us to cover during this series, don't also forget to drop your comment as well. But most importantly, I'll be very grateful if you can as well help click that share button and share this video on your social media so that more people can get to see this content. I believe this content will be of help to many people that want to come into the city of Abuja. Alright, remember this is a series. Try to follow all of the episode as well as comment below what your thoughts are and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you guys on the very next one